So now if you just want to get better at GHG and counting each day, you need to just start thinking in a logical way. So for example, pick up any product like this pen and simply start thinking about what are the materials that could be used in the manufacturing of this pen. So suppose there is plastic used, there is rubber used. So just imagine what could be the complexity, the rubber being extracted from its origin source and then being transported to the production facilities to the emission in this entire process then at the manufacturing site the emissions which might be caused due to say molding the rubber or plastic in this particular shape so there might be a lot of industrial processes involved a lot of fuels being consumed in these industrial processes so all of them are contributing to the scope one emission the headquarters of the pen manufacturing company might be using electricity which falls in the scope two emissions of the company the employees coming to the office might be traveling which might fall into the scope 3 emissions 